Okay, in this question we have which of the following is closest to the average of the nine changes in the value of imports between consecutive years from 2000 to 2009. So I'm going to draw this graph and I'm only going to worry here about the imports. And they start off way down here. And of course, the only reason I'm worrying about the imports is that's all that they're asking about. So I'm going to draw it with a straight line, even though it's represented with a dotted line here. But uh, we don't even have to draw the other one, so it doesn't really matter. So I drawing is somewhat OK, I suppose. And this gives, gives us up to here a total of 9 billion. So 9 billion. And down here, it looks to be actually a little bit between 3 and 4. So we'll call this right here about 3 point. Two. Okay, so we want to know the differences, and the way to think of it is the difference from here to here to here to here, and you're going to add them all together. So this would obviously take a while. There's a couple ways to do it. One is to notice a certain pattern here. Difference between 2000 and 2001. I don't care about the difference between 2001 and 2002. And we're going to go all the way up to the end here, 2007, difference 2008. 2008, and we're going to add to that 2009. Okay, well, what you'll notice is the negative 2001, those cancel each other out. So you're going to have another 2002 over here, then write that one in, but that one's going to cancel there. And they're going to cancel in that way, in that fashion. The 7 will cancel with the 7 before it. This 8 cancels that final 8. And essentially, you're left with 2000 over here, and your sure minus over there, and we're going to end up getting 2000 minus. 2009. And we only care about the difference here between the two, so it doesn't really matter that's positive or negative. So we can just reverse this and put the 2009 over here, which is 9 billion, and the 2000 over here, which is 3.2 billion. And it says for a total of nine changes, so what's the average? And we end up getting 5.8 over 9. So now we look at the answers, and you can see that, well, the only thing that's close to 5.8 and it's going to be a little bit over, because remember, we're looking for here fraction out of 10 so we can get the actual number and you can see that 5.8 has to increase a little bit if 9 increased to 10 and so obviously it's going to be 6 point something and in this case 6 the 6 point something because it's a fraction I should actually say 6 point I'm going to get rid of this here let's just call it 6 over 10 because again we're looking for approximation 6 over 10 is 0.6 billion which is the same as 600 million again not exactly but close enough to 640 and our answer is E. Now, another way to have done this was to go would be go, to ba go back here and look at the difference and notice that some of these will cancel each other out. So you're going difference, 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 and essentially right at the time you get here, you're basically there at the same level, and then you only care about adding up. Again, the difference, this negates this, so from here to here to here to here, and then dividing by 9. So you don't necessarily have to rely on this long method. You can sort of eyeball it as well.